how do you learn SAP integration suite, cloud integration or CPI? That's a common question that I often get. And in this video, I'll try to give you some idea on how you can start your learning journey. What is SAP integration suite? So it is, SAP integration suite is a collection of application offered by SAP. Um, there is, depending on how you look at it, a number of different components uh, into the product. But in general, the things the most common used when referring to the integration suite is SAP Cloud Integration, which is a tool used to integrate two applications. And I think that is, it's called, uh, what's called CPI or uh, HCI HANA Cloud Integration, uh, SAP cloud integration, uh, cloud platform integration. And this is about connecting two uh, systems and setting them up to exchange data between each other. Then we have API management, and this is a good tool that allows you to expose uh, data and then be able to secure it um, in a way that allows externals to have access to your internal data. Uh, caching, etc. Then we have SAP Open Connectors, which is a tool that allow you to connect to a lot of new systems um, easily without having to consider all these uh, challenging things that you often have with uh, with authentication, with understanding protocols, etc. Open Connectors simplifies this layer and just gives you a generic way that you can connect to. Then there's also Integration Content Advisor. This is a tool that allow you to use machine learning to create uh, message mappings or mappings between two different formats. There is a little more into this integration suite. Uh, there's a SAP Graph, and I think this was first also just released. Um, there's uh, enterprise messaging, there is serverless runtime, there is uh, data intelligence, um, which is more about handling bigger loads of data. So there's a lot more than just these uh, couple of, of products that I guess also data, master data integration, these kind of things is also a part of it, uh, but we'll not cover those uh, more in this uh, this detail. So why, what, before I get started, what is really good to know? So I think one of the main requirements is that you have an understanding of business techno terminology and processes that, because you, you the, you've soon gone from understanding uh, the concept and developing the integration, but you need to understand and then explain it in a business term because you would be talking with business people on this thing. You would be talking about uh, the, it's good to know technical formats like uh, XML, JSON, uh, programming in Java, or even better if you know Groovy, it's uh, really helpful. And But just having a programming experience makes it easier to understand and translate to another language. Knowledge uh, of XSLT will also help because I, I think a lot of mappings will be done in XSLT. HTTP and SSL security certificates, those kind of things is one thing that you really fast run into. Uh, who has this, is, what's the certificate for this uh, uh, platform? And then we have uh, other SAP areas of interest and this could be uh, SAP, EAP, HANA, Salesforce, uh, oh sorry, <laughs> success factors, uh, etc. All of these applications give you some experience whenever you need to uh, integrate with them. Why should you learn it? Uh, I think one of the biggest things is that integration is going to be a big thing in future integration projects. It already is. A hot topic um, and there's a lot of new applications that needs to be integrated there's going to be some 
pre-delivered or there's a lot of pre-delivered content, but you would always, or in a lot of cases, need to create your own because you have specific processes, content, etc. And then there's room to understand the different business processes that works between these things. There is a free trial that you can get of the SAP Cloud uh, Integration or CPI platform in this video, and hopefully I can link to it. Uh, you can see how you can set up this uh, this free trial uh, account. Um, it, I think this video is like eight minutes or to see how to get started. No one played. Uh, and then once you get the, this trial done, there's two primary things I see as you can, can leverage this. There is, we have created our own course at uh, cpicourse.com. And here I'm trying to teach you how to build cloud integration, what, what kind of platform it is, what is going on. Um, what are the different components and how do you think about these when you're developing integrations? SAP also have one and there's a new open, well, half a year old uh, open SAP course on integration suite that gives you a much broader overview over, um, over the tool. Um, and as you can see, this is number 10 of uh, integrations. Um, th this is also a good course. It gives you a good overview of the full platform uh, integration platform and i really recommend you check this uh, this out there's well okay free resources not not all of these are free there's a lot of blogs on different content there's a lot of code samples there's some books for instance this one uh, that i think gives you a good understanding of what is going on and it is obviously not free uh, so and then the thing is you would also need your experiments. Experiments, you say, what kind of experiments do you have? So we have the, so once you've gone through these things, obviously you have some basis on understanding what is going on. And if you're working in an organization that is using cloud integration already, you can leverage it and use your skills there. But if you're not, then you need to experiment to understand what is going on with the tool. Um, there is the Northwind database. It has really a good OData service uh, that you can use. And I think I'm also using that in my course. Um, API.sap.com uh, or API Hub also have a lot of APIs that you can use. And I think in a lot of cases, they have like, um, sample APIs that you can use to connect with these things. Another good place would be your favorite sports tracker, beer tracker, whatever you have of, of interest to you, um, where you can find an API and then being able to understand what can you actually do if you have this sports tracker, do you want to push data into some other system, your Excel sheet or docs, etc. All of these things is something that you need to consider when building these uh, integrations. And then you can create uh, some yeah, different mashups with this data, understanding what's going on. You can obviously also connect to free or cheap service like, like Amazon AWS, where you can uh, upload or connect or figure out how you can actually integrate with these things. And then there's also CM system like ACT that is also supported by open connectors. And with this, you get a good understanding of what it is to work with real data in a real environment. So all of these really simplifies your learning process. Then share your progress, create blog posts on your experiment, what they're going out on, what you have learned from it, what you'll take away from it, uh, and are there anything that could be interesting for other people to learn. And if you are working with some consultants or have co people that in your network that do uh, have a better experience in it, get their feedback on your experiments, etc. So you can 
improve your skills and figure out what to do and what not to do. And this is also an important part if you are if you're working in a customer. Uh, <laughs> This is also an important part. If you're working in a company where you have uh, real projects, get feedback on your integration so you know whether or not it's it can be improved, what to remember next time, because there is ways to improve all integrations all the time. I hope this has been helpful. If you liked it, please click the, the like button. Please uh, hit the subscribe button uh, and you, yeah, I hope that you will be learn SAP Cloud Platform Integration or Integration Suite and really find it interesting. Thank you.